Hi everyone, it's Friday. I'm the Crayon Wrangler and we're at the ranch. I'm sitting outside and I'm currently getting bombarded by bugs. So, um, yeah, I may flinch from time to time, but just try to bear with me. I don't like doing a whole bunch of takes on these, so we might have some interesting moments here. So anyways, we're going to do Five Question Friday with Mama M over at My Little Life. And we're also going to do Friday Follow. And the links to both of those are going to be underneath this blog. So go there, link up, hop around from blog to blog to blog to blog to blog. And see what kind of new people you can meet. And especially on Five Question Friday, all the neat answers. And I just love Five Question Friday. So, oh, by the way, I took some Benadryl. Might be a little bit loopy. Look over me. I swear I'm not drinking or something. It's just the dipahydramine or whatever that active ingredient is that's so cool. So anyways, oh, man, another bug. All right, so Five Question Friday. Let's get started. All right, my favorite thing about summertime, this is it right here, being able to sit outside. And I just, I love the weather of summertime. I am a warm weather person. When it starts getting cold and the trees lose all their leaves, I just get downright depressed. I mean, there's nothing good about winter. Well, okay, there's hot chocolate, but technically you can do hot chocolate in the summertime. Just crank the AC down some and, you know, freeze everybody else out so you can have the hot chocolate. So, um, anyway, love the weather of summertime. Got to be my absolute favorite. It's when you can go swimming and things like that. Um, look at clouds, pick berries, pick flowers, fly a kite, all sorts of fun stuff in the summer. So, I can't pick out one certain thing about the summer. I just, I love summertime. ideal retirement location if money wasn't an object. You know, it's not so much that money not being an object. I kind of just want to be right where I am or wherever my kids end up. I got to be around my kids because I'm praying that they have grandkids. Um, and I want to bug them. I want to just bug them to death and spoil their grandkids and send them home. But, um, cause that's what my parents and my husband's parents do to my grandkids, my grandkids, my, my kids. I don't have grandkids yet. I'm not that old. So anyways, um, I just, I like where I'm at. Um, when we bought this house, finally, this is where I want to grow old. I mean, that front porch is perfect for a rocker or, you know, if I end up in a wheelchair or whatever the case is going to be. This is where I want to be. I'm happy where I'm at. I don't need to really go anywhere else. I don't live in the same town where I grew up. Um... I moved when I was 18 and moved far, far, far away to this strange land, but I've kind of gotten used to it. You know, I, I know where all the streets are now, for the most part. I mean, I can still get lost on occasion, but hey, that's what Tom Tom's for. Um, I just, you know, I think the only reason why I like where I grew up is because of the childhood memories, you know, back when you were free and didn't have a care in the world, no mortgage. No insurances, none of that adult stuff. But, um, yeah, I liked, I liked where I grew up, but I like where I am now. I mean, all my family's here, so I don't think that was really the question, but there's your answer. No, I don't live in the same town where I grew up. A nervous habit when I was a kid. I don't really think I had any nervous habits, but my parents read this blog, so they may um, chime in on the comments and tell you something different. There is a bug fixing to accost my foot. Accost? That's a big word. All right, hold on. Uh, okay, I got him. All right, so um, nervous habits. I bit my nails. Um, I don't know that it was nervous or just just boredom or something because I still do it and I'm not a nervous person so I'm kind of calm and laid back and I should have like been a one of those bomb people because I just I don't get real nervous um, I can get aggravated but not nervous but I don't twirl my hair or grip my teeth or chew the tops off of pencils or anything like that so I don't really know that I had a nervous habit that I had to overcome Embarrassing moment while at work. Uh, most of my adult life, um, I've, I've worked with my husband. We own a commercial cleaning business, so um, I don't really get embarrassed with my husband. He has embarrassed me, but not at work. And other than that, I'm just a mom and a writer, so my critics, I don't really get embarrassed, I guess. Um, 
I mean, what's a kid going to do to embarrass you anyways? Ah, never mind. Never mind. Kids can embarrass you to death. So, nothing like the two-year-old grocery store temper tantrum to really just bring the blood to your face and make you want to run screaming. But um, the only thing I can think of is when we were cleaning in a building once, uh, it, we thought we were alone. And when I'm alone and I'm working, I have a tendency to sing really, really loud. And by loud, I don't mean that it's good. I mean it's just loud. And I was belting out some Patsy Cline crazy because um, I think that's one of my favorite songs. And turned around and walked in an office and the owner of the building was sitting there and he was smiling. I don't think he was smiling because he liked the song. I think he was smiling because I actually quit si singing when I saw him. And that was a little bit embarrassing because <laughs> if you've ever heard my voice singing, yeah, that embarrassing. Uh, almost like firing squad worthy. But anywho, okay. Um, the only other, there's another book. Okay, the only other thing that I can think of was we were cleaning a building and, sorry, I was getting another book. Um, we were cleaning another building and it was just really, really, really nasty. I mean, just funky, disgusting. And I was loudly complaining complaining about that. Have you noticed that I'm just really loud about things? Yeah, might need to work on that. But um, I was complaining and talking about the people, how disgusting and nasty and how they should just be beaten within inches of their life and, you know, how do they live like this and work in this filth and turned around they were, um, there were some people standing there that worked there and they, it was probably their mess. So that was, that wasn't so much embarrassing as it was a lesson to me to um, really be careful of what you say and who might be around you and yeah gotta be careful what you say sometimes so not really embarrassing okay so that was five question friday and for the friday follow um you can check out the about me section it gives some information about me i encourage you to look through some of the old blog posts and the vlogs and stuff like that to get to know me a little bit better um, leave me a comment letting me know that you've been here because I would love to get to know you and see your blog and see what you write and let's just get to know each other or something like that. So anyways, I can feel that Benadryl kicking in from all these mosquito bites and before I think I'm funnier than what I am, let's go ahead and sign off. So once again, thank you for visiting me and have a good weekend and I'll see you later.